Hey, you guys, welcome to day one of the Runner's Mindset Detox. If you don't know me, I'm Carrie Adam, and I welcome you to this challenge with me and Running Moms. I'm a physiotherapist, I'm a holistic health coach, and I am a run coach. And most importantly, I'm a busy mom of two. And I love helping you runners out there run strong and not only run strong but live strong i want you guys i know that when we run we are more confident we are happier we are more comfortable in our bodies and that is why i bring this detox to you because i want you focusing on more than your running when you're a runner i want you focusing on your well-being and feeling confident in your body and starting to enjoy a life full of passion and purpose and as runners, I know that we often get kind of lost in the personal records and race times and, and workouts and distances. And when we don't hit these goals, when we struggle to stick to our training programs, we end up feeling guilty, and bad about ourselves and disappointed. And then we either just quit the training and the running altogether or we get injured and we have to quit. So I know that as runners, we work hard and we push hard and we expect a lot of ourselves, but in these years with kids and as these years, as these kids grow, like there's a lot of stuff that we're taking on and often we're self-sabotaging our own efforts by setting expectations on ourselves that, that don't fit with our lives, that don't fit with us thriving in this life and it just puts more pressure that you don't need on you. You have enough pressure in everything else in your life. Your running should be about bringing you happiness, about bringing you sanity, about bringing you that good stuff in life that helps you recharge to get through the rest of life. So that is what we're going to be talking about this week. And day one of the Runner's Mindset Detox is about getting clear on your priorities. Because you can't do everything. Balance is shit. <laughs> I always say if people tell you to find balance and look for balance, you're going to be underperforming in so many areas of your life. And that feels crummy, right? Like you can't be present with your kids, good at cooking, have perfect meals on the table every day, clean your house, go to work every day, coach the kids soccer, get them to swimming, uh, be a good wife for your husband and have a great relationship. Like you can't do all of that stuff at one time. You have to get clear on your priorities and you need to start living a life with intention. And that just means being present in how your days are flowing in what you're choosing to do and spend time on and who you're choosing to spend time on. Um, because it's impossible to do everything. And, you know, um, it's, it's fine not to do everything, but you need to be very clear on your priorities. And I'm going to strongly suggest and hope that you put yourself on that list of priorities. And I know as women, we tend to put everybody else on that list and we often fall to the bottom and we fall off that list. And to take care of everything else we need to and to, to maintain our own health and sanity, we need to be on that priority list. You need to be on that priority list. And I know that that's hard. And I know that it might not happen every day. But you, I, I strongly um, encourage you to think about your priorities and choose them appropriately for you. And generally, we find and I've done some reading that you can find three top priorities, choose three things in your life that you can prioritize and do them well. For me, it's my family. They're always number one. Number two is my fitness because I know when I get out for my runs and I focus on taking care of my health through my running, I'm able to be a better mom. I'm able to give more to my kids on all levels. And then number three is my work. I'm very focused on, on accelerating my work. So what are your three top priorities? And then the second part of this day one challenge is to, to understand that if running is a priority, if your health is a priority, how are you going to fit that into your life? How are you going to set some realistic goals around that health or, or running goal because your life is likely very busy. And what I often see women doing is they've prioritized their running, they've prioritized their health, but they set this big goal is they want to get to the half marathon distance and they just don't have time for it, right? Like you need to understand those expectations that you put on yourself and not, not 
not make unrealistic expectations of yourself that are only going to sabotage your efforts. And what I mean is, you know, there's a period in life where maybe you only have 20 or 30 minutes to give to yourself a day. There's nothing wrong with that, but you're not going to train for a half marathon in that in that time span and you're going to end up feeling guilty and underperforming all the time. So why not just commit to getting out for three runs a week for 20 minutes? Like my running is a priority because it makes me feel good, but I'm not going to train for that half marathon at this time because I can only fit this amount of time in. Don't, you know, the runners love to measure their, their worth and their mileage. And I'm challenging you guys to come off of that, to forget that it's not about mileage. It's about quality of your runs and fitting those workouts into your life, not trying to redo your whole life to fit your running in, because that is going to be difficult. These are, this is a mindset shift for us runners. More miles does not make you a better runner. Okay. So that's your, your two part challenge today. You guys make a list of priorities. And then number two, if running is one of your priorities, how can you adjust your expectations to fit your running in and choose a goal that's going to to fit your life so that you can be successful and get all that good stuff back from your running. For me, you know, my, I told you what my priorities are and for, you know, four or five years, I never ran more than really 30 minutes most days of the week because I did not have time. Yes, I craved to go to spin classes. Yes, I craved to run long distances, to run with groups of people, but that didn't fit into my life. And when I longed for those things that I couldn't have, I felt bad about myself. I felt so far from from what was going to make me happy. So I had to adjust my mindset, be super clear on my intentions and my goals, and be happy with what I could fit in and what I could do and adjust my mindset around having that be enough to fulfill me, give me the happiness I needed, give me time for my self-care, which is my running. It brings me self-care, right? It gives me energy. It's my time. It's a priority for me without tying it to long distances, if that makes sense, you guys. So that's your day one mindset challenge, you guys. Please go to the Facebook group. Please share with us. Please ask me questions. Hit reply to this email. I want to chat with you guys about that. My goal is to help make you guys not only strong runners, but strong women because the world needs strong women. And I know when you run strong, you're confident and you can take on anything that life throws at you. Have an awesome day.